Welcome to another Safish OS podcast and this time around as you can see here I have the brand new Safish OS version 3.0005 so 3.005 running here the first early access release of Safish OS that uh, has been available since today and this is yeah the brand new version and I want to show you the main features of this brand new version of course the main new feature is the new UI that uh, will introduce you or introduce itself basically when first upgrading to SafeJS 3.0 it's the top menu which allows you to just simply go and see the quick toggles just like it was previously on the event screen now moved into an, its own menu accessible from everywhere so if I just go and open up a note for example and I want to access my quick toggles to disable Wi-Fi or something like this I can just simply swipe down and have the option to enable Wi-Fi, disable Wi-Fi, whatever I want to do here and of course this is configurable just like in the old days you have the option to either move things around here on the screen so if you don't want to have the what is it flight mode on the on the top right you want to have another button left you can just simply reorganize it or you can go to the settings and you can choose then to uh, enable other options, other settings basically to be displayed in the menu itself. Then there's a new gesture for quick closing applications because if you swipe down you can see it will always open up the um, top menu but if you want to close an application nowadays you can just swipe from either the right or the left side uh, down and it will simply perform the close animation as you can see here and which is also a pretty nice feature. So this is a new way of navigating in SafeJS 3.0 introduced with the 3.005 version. Then of course the old features just like swiping up for accessing your applications are still in there and nothing big changed here. The only difference you might notice is a faster performance in opening applications for example. It will open up and very quickly, uh, I think 20% faster than the older versions and especially also for uh, if you if you uh, the, the transitions between pages for example also very very fast very good and very nice feature then of course if you're on the home screen and you don't want to reach or you can't reach because your yeah, device is too big or something like this or you want to quickly toggle something you can just simply swipe down to also access the top menu this not only works here but also on the event screen the event screen is only for events and your weather basically and the twitter feed as well of course you can swipe down and you can see you can access the quick toggles and quick actions here as well pretty nice then of course there are some other options and some other changes uh, regarding the operating system first of all there is a nice new option now if you are on your lock screen you can of course swipe up to access the camera but in previous versions you only had the option if you take in a photo for example here of the R2D2 let me take a photo of rt 2 you could not access the photo that you created you had to unlock the device now there's the option to access the photo you can take a look at the photo see if everything is coming out sharp and then of course you can set it as ambience I think and remove the photo if you don't like it so let me remove it here you can go back as well and close it down this all works even with a locked device which is I think pretty handy then of course there are some other new features and changes I, I showed you the settings there's another option in settings if you go to settings you now have the option to um, configure in the top menu of course you have the option to configure your ambiences uh, because ambiences are also visible in the top menu and as you can see here it only shows four in this case for me uh, those are the ones that I created and uh, those are marked with a star and basically what you can do here is mark your favorite uh, ambiences with a star just like in the old version and they will be listed in front here but you can of course scroll through all your ambiences in here in the top menu which is also pretty nice of course all the ones with the stars are in front and of course there are new ambiences uh, as you can see the white stars basically mean that the main um, this is basically a theme for you have a black background and a white text and new in SafeJS 3.005 
is the option to have a white background and black text. So you have two new ambiences in here. And uh, let's go to the glacial one. And it will revamp the whole user interface, as you can see here, to a white background and a black text, which is pretty nice and looks very, very clean and very, very cool. Uh, almost Mac OS, iOS like. So let's stay on this ambience and I will show you some other new cool new features in Savage S. Uh, let's go back to settings. There is a new option for those who want to encrypt your micro SD card content. Just scroll down to data to storage. And I have a micro SD card in here. Of course, you can still format your micro SD card. And there's a new option called encrypt. And if you click on this, you can enter your password in here and then it will format the device and encrypt the device, encrypt the micro SD card. And this allows you to securely save your content. So even if someone pulls out your micro SD card, he will not be able to read from the micro SD card without this password, without decrypting it. And of course, if you start your device, it will ask for, for the decryption uh, password. So uh, you can be safe when it comes to storing even uh, the, your most private data on your micro SD card. And then there's another new feature. I think the first time that I see it integrated in the official SafeJS UI is the option to support uh, USB OTG. So the Xperia X, for example, has USB OTG support. I have a dongle in here with a uh, USB stick. And if I plug it in, you will see that it will hopefully notify you about new media and uh, under storage you can see now the new media i can mount the new media if i mount it it will also show how much uh, space is used and so on or i can format the device itself in this case i think there are uh, two partitions on this uh, usb stick so this is easily possible now usb otg support there has been support, uh, better support when it comes to VPN. So VPN should be should be running much, much smoother, much, much better now. There are some detail um, improvements in terms of um, the usability of the keyboard, for example. Let's go to a notepad. What you can see here is I have a slightly modified keyboard. If you'd like to know about it, it's the, let's go to the patch manager. It's called the BlackBerry-like keyboard adjustments, which basically do a bigger spacebar, smaller uh, return and, and, and uh, symbol button, and the buttons are more laid out in, uh, in a more pleasant way, at least for me. So the new keyboard looks pretty nice on the new uh, ambience, of course, but you now have the option to, if you just like want to swipe quickly to your emojis or another localization of your keyboard, you can swipe now to change between English and German, for example, keyboard layouts, as you can see here, looks pretty nice. I can swipe to my emoji keyboard as well, if I'd like to, and swipe back. So it's pretty, pretty nice uh, option now to just simply swipe between your keyboards and your keyboard layouts. Yeah, this is basically everything that I want to show you now in this uh, new version. Oh, there's one more thing that I think is pretty neatly. Under, under the gallery app, you have now have the option to see a new category called screenshots. So all your previously taken screenshots are now located in here. And of course, all your new created screenshots are now located in a screenshots folder, which is pretty nice and handy. So, yeah, this is pretty much everything for the 3.005 release. If you're expecting a little bit more, there will be coming more in later 3.0 releases. So 3.01 is expected to be arrive at uh, December time. So maybe Christmas we have a new version with new Qt version, which will also improve stuff for developers. And of course, there are tons of other features also already in the 3.005 release under the hood. A lot of changes in uh, device management. So if you're interested in this, take a look at the change log. I will link to it. And uh, yeah, have a nice time. Try out the new SafeHS 3.0005 early access version if you are an early access member. Otherwise, um, yeah, just be prepared for the uh, 3.0 release uh, coming next week. 
So this is everything for this little demonstration. Hope you enjoyed it and thanks for watching.